G'day guys, Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. As many of you know, I do lots of 1UZ stuff. And today, I'm going to be solving something that I see as a very simple issue, making tacos go. Today, I'm going to be doing the first step in tacos. I've had a bit of a think about it, and I need to do probably more than one video on this. But I'm going to start with the, the basic Toyota taco. Uh, and I'm going to focus on the petrol one. So let's get into it. Uh, I've got a motor set up running that will run. It's noisy. It's got no exhaust on it. It's very loud, but it'll give me a taco signal. The taco signal comes from the igniters on a 1UZ. And it's a four-cylinder output. So igniters. Tucked on the side of the engine are our igniters. This one has one, two, three, blank hole, four. And this one has one, two, three, four, five. I need an igniter. It's moments like these, I need an igniter. They've actually got on them the designation. Let's wait there. I'll go grab an igniter and we'll look at that. So here we have the igniter. This is my test igniter that I use on the bench, but along here we've got the designations of each pin. They're quite hard to see, so I've copied them on the other side. Uh, feedback goes to the ECU. Trigger is what triggers the igniter from the ECU. B is the power. Uh, EXT, external, is the taco feed. And C is the coil. You'll notice there is no earth. These must be earth. Uh, I've seen a few guys build fiberglass cars or old hot rods with a wooden firewall. I don't know why you'd call a wooden firewall a firewall because it wouldn't work very well. Anyway, uh, these have to be earth. That's my point. They have to be earth. Next, I have the Spears box of tacos. That one, uh, VZN 130. So petrol tacos have the more revs on them. So, is that a cake? No, that's an electronic. I'm gonna run out of bench. Diesel one, so that's a diesel surf. Got a check light in there. That's a later model diesel, sur diesel Hilux, I believe, that one. And I must have been doing some testing on that one because there's wires hanging out of it. And a whole lot of others. Uh, cable driven one. Cable driven one with a petrol taco in it. Uh, another petrol one. I've been stockpiling a little bit. I want to find... Oh, what's that one? What we want there. Okay. Perfect, that's what I wanted. If you've got a diesel one, diesel one, you can take the diesel taco unit out, that little bit, and put a petrol one in. Just unscrew them on the back. I didn't bring my screwdriver. So you interchange them within the cluster. You can also use this petrol one for a VVTi, but you do need to bypass um, a resistor at the bottom of the taco. But I'll do that in another video. So on the back here, we have this hole here, which is P for pulse. This one here is ground. And this one here is plus fiddling enough for positive. So if that was in there like that, it's actually written on here, P for pulse, plus for positive power, and earth there. On the diesel one, you've also got some inputs for the turbo light and the check light. 
but they just won't work if you put a petrol one in its place. You can move the check light down into the into the bottom lights, the bottom icons along the bottom of the dash. Right, this taco has had its stopper fallen off. To pop the front off, you just need to pop these little tabs down. Just sounds so simple. And there we are in. And this one has got the check light right down here. That's pretty straightforward. There's also an adjusting trim pot on the V6 ones. So that is located here. And by rotating that, you can calibrate your speedo to correct. A lot of people don't know about that. So you can use the V6 ones. I prefer, so in these situations, the dashes will either be a V6 surf, or which will need the trim pot adjusted, or a petrol, and both the Hiluxes and the surfs will have that. So for those guys that want the detail and want to know what the signal is, so we're working on a signal that would start, or that would run a four-cylinder petrol high-level taco. So it's like the same signal as a distributor. Now I actually had to I had to find a distributor. So it is the same output that would come from the coil, the negative post on a coil on a four-cylinder engine. I had to think pretty hard to see where I could find a distributor. They're not very common around my workshop. So that wire from the igniter, from the EXT terminal, will come back beside the ECU in one of the body plugs. Now if you're having trouble finding it, it's included in my wiring diagrams, which I do sell. But it's, so it, it is back here, or you can get your multimeter and you can trace it. So let's fire it up and have a bit of a look at that signal. So we've captured that signal. So this is on a 20 volt scale. So you can see uh, down to nothing. And then it's got a big spike. Same as a distributor, as a, as a negative output from a coil. So that is what the signal looks like. We've got the signal. Let's make one of those go. So today I'm just gonna make the petrol one work. Uh, the great thing about this particular loom is I've wired it with a, a taco output, which is easy, and I've given it a an output ignition switch output over here, or out, output here, so I can use it to run my taco. So I'm going to do some wiring, connect that up. For the ease of doing this video, I've tapped into the back of the dash. If you want to know which pins, then you have to do it like I do and just trace it. You can see the track, that's a positive. Comes up to there. The pulse comes through here, comes up to there. And there's a the ground, goes off, comes to wherever the ground goes. I've tapped straight into the back of the screws. I'm using the V6 cluster. I don't even know if this cluster works. Let's give it a test, see what happens. Because this one is a V6, we will do the adjusty thing. There's the front off.
Should we go again? So normally when I'm adjusting the taco, I have my scan tool attached. But it'll be out by um, about a third if you're using a V6 one. So that's really, really simple. So if you've got a diesel with that taco and a Toyota, the easiest way is to fit one of those. If you're wanting to tap in a like a, a taco to test with, you've also got another point of entry, which is in the diagnostic box under the engine. So up in the diagnostic box, up in this box, this big terminal here, it's listed up in here as IG negative. So that is the same wire. It's tapped into that same wire that comes from the igniter. So as I do different jobs, I will try and show a bit more on tacos. The VVTIs, people seem to struggle with them. Some of the tacos do need boxes, adjusting boxes. But that's the start. So that's the, the easiest way to make a taco go, if you're working on a Toyota product, is to put in a taco from another Toyota product that suits the UZ engine. So that's his, that was an early non-VVTI, taco signal into most of your Hiluxes, your high aces, um, and a lot of other Toyotas that were originally either a diesel, so you changed the cluster, or had a petrol with a distributor type output. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you did like this video, hit the like button. If you aren't already subscribed, push subscribe if you're doing lots of 1UZ stuff. And we'll talk to you again. Catch you later.